Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Today we're going to be talking about the different classes or types of carbohydrates that are out there. So there's four main ones that we're going to focus on. Um, and also I'll list them for you here. Okay, so we've got four categories here. Monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Okay, so what we have here is the, the prefix gives us all the clue that we need as to, to what these kinds of carbohydrates are like. Okay, because these carbohydrates are building blocks of bigger molecules. Okay, and so that then um, we talk about them as a type of um, a type of polymer when we get long carbohydrates. And so that are made so like a chain that's made up of lots of building blocks. Okay? So we, we will encounter polymers more in our production of materials module. Okay? which in the normal sequence of things we would have covered first. Okay, so monosaccharide, as the name would suggest, like monorail, mono refers to one. So some classic examples are glucose and fructose. Okay, there are others, but they're two ones that are, are nice obvious ones for us. Disaccharides, as the name would suggest, di refers to two. So some examples that we have sucrose, and maltose and lactose are all examples of disaccharides. So disaccharides are where we take two monosaccharides and connect them together. So they're covalently bonded together in the center um, through a, a kind of reaction that we'll look at a little further called condensation reaction. Um, and yeah, and so sucrose, so table sugar, um, lactose presence in the, the sugar in milk that some people have a hard time processing in their digestive system, and then maltose, which is what starch breaks down into our in our bodies. Um, and then, then maltose can then be broken further down into glucose by using enzymes called an enzyme called maltase. Okay, so oligosaccharides is our next um, uh, our next kind of one. So oligo in, in general, like we use the word um, oligarchy to refer to the rule by a few as opposed to monarchy, the rule by one. Um, and so um, when we have um, an oligosaccharide is when we're talking about um, a, a short chain of connected saccharides. Okay, so the, really the only one that, that we um, want to focus on, because it comes up quite a lot in everyday life, it's called maltodextrin. Okay, so it's a common ingredient in things like breakfast cereals and a whole bunch of other um, substances because it's a great way to connect um, it. Uh, the great way to connect substances together. So, like in terms of flavorings and coatings and and things, it's a bit of an emulsifier, a way of kind of connecting dry ingredients to wet ingredients and so on. Okay, but it's also easily broken down and processed in your digestive system. Now, um, I will actually put an asterisk over here with oligosaccharides because the syllabus doesn't specify that we must know about them, but I bring them up because they are the the sort of thing that that is important. Okay, and then lastly, when we're thinking poly, we're thinking a many saccharides joined together. Okay, so this, the three main ones to be familiar with, we have starch, cellulose, and glycogen. Okay, so the long chains that we take, uh, that we connect together um, using the building blocks of monosaccharides, either the same one or multiple, of, like alternating units of, of two different um, saccharides depending on the, what we, we're trying to do here. Okay, now all of these, we, we're going to look at this a little bit further, all of these have their root or, or kind of their base substance being glucose, their base monosaccharide, the, the, each the link in the chain. Now what we will see is that the way that those glucoses are connected and the fact that there are actually two versions of glucose um, dictates the differences in these structures as well as also where we find them in nature. Okay, so, but that will be the subject of another video. Okay, so you can see that we've got these four main categories of saccharides, okay, based on their size and how many kind of, of these, these building block units that make it up, as well as some common examples we'd come across of each. All right, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.